Hello folks. So today I'm going after the Pelican Nebula. Now I've done this one before close up, but now with the wide field I'm going to I'm going to be farther out and I'm going to capture a lot more nebulosity below the Pelican Nebula. At least I hope. And right now I have about 5 hours of oxygen, 3 hours of HA and 3 hours of sulfur and I procrastinated I didn't stack any data yet I might already have enough sulfur and HA at three hours each but I don't know so I'm gonna just to be on the safe side I'm gonna capture a little more of each one tonight and I'm gonna do something I don't normally do since I want data for both filters and I'm using a mono camera I'm probably gonna come back outside at uh, maybe I think I could start capturing the pelican at around midnight so I'm gonna come my phone's ringing that's Doug Struble but I'll call him back later but um, I'm gonna come I, I could start capturing the pelican at around 12 o'clock and I'm gonna come back outside at around 2 a.m. and switch filters just so I can capture both sulfur and HA and be done with this target tonight so we'll see how it goes and um, uh, one more thing, um, there's some robins every April, they build a nest on top of our porch light. It's really cool and uh, they, they, they hatch, they, they lay about, or the mama bird lays about three or four eggs and usually at least three birds hatch. And this time I put a surveillance camera to watch the birds. And I put scotch tape over the light switch so nobody turned on the light one year we actually burn the eggs and I felt really bad about that but something really sad other than that happened this year and I'm going to share it with you and uh, uh, maybe it's just a sad story and I, I was looking for an excuse so how can I put this on my Astro channel and since I'm capturing the pelican a big bird in space I'm going to show you my robins all right okay so here are both of my rigs and the one I'm making the video for is the Rasa on the left here. And there's a full screen of it. And right now it's pointing at the Pelican Nebula. And all of my imaging is done on the east side of the meridian. Because um, it, it's it, I catch it as soon as it rises. And by the time it hits the the top, the meridian, it, it will already be light outside. So, But that's okay. Uh, tonight should be the, the last night I need to capture data. And let me show you my imaging session. Now, I'm still using Sequence Generator Pro, and I'm doing two-minute exposures with uh, the HA filter right now. And you can see what one um, two-minute exposure looks like. Now, um, yeah, this is two minutes, and imagine what 90 of these will look like. Um, that would be three hours. And now I'm thinking this is so bright even in one sub, I probably could have settled for three hours. But you know what? Now that I'm, I'm imaging it again, I may as well go for over four and over four for, for sulfur. And I'm probably going to go out in 45 minutes to switch to sulfur, and then I'll be done with it. Um, well, let me show you one more thing here. I finally installed the Celestron Focus Motor. Um... I got tired of standing outside and, and turning the focus manually <laughs> and, uh, and with the, the warm weather coming and I just didn't want to be out there getting bit to death by mosquitoes. So let me show you how I would actually use this. Now the software itself, I got to give Celestron credit, it's super simple. Um, all you do is uh, you hit the connect button, it's already connected and it will automatically find the port for the, uh, the focus motor and then what I would do from there is uh, let me pause my imaging session for a second here I would turn on the 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 frame and focus and start it up and then I'll watch the star HFR 1.39 and the lower you can get this number the the more pinpoint your stars will be and that's what you want so um, I would just um, here's the rate at, at how fast the focuser will will move 
So I would um, I would just move the focuser out or in and either watch this number go higher or lower. If it goes higher, I'm losing focus. If it goes lower, I'm, I'm getting more in focus and I would see how low I can get it. And if this is the same thing as standing outside and turning the focus knob left or right. So that's all you got to do. You, you, you use these buttons in or out and get that number as low as you can. And if, once you think you've got it as low as you can, um, you're pretty much done. And let me restart my session here. And I haven't, um, I tried setting it up in SGP to do an autofocus and get that V-curve. And I can get the V-curve, but the V-curve still doesn't produce as good a focus as I can get it just going in and out manually myself. I, the HFR is not coming as low as when I just use this utility. And so, uh, and, and once I set the focus, it holds. I still don't have to worry about this. This thing can hold focus all night. And, um... Uh, except um, at 2:45, when I, or 2 o'clock, when I go out to change to the uh, the the sulfur filter, then I'll probably have to readjust the the focus again. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, that's that's all I got to share, folks. I will see you later. I hope this turns out. buddy hey buddy I, I think you're lonely out here there you go all right I gotta go buddy it's late I don't want to wake anybody up all right I'll see you later buddy here's it boy okay bye bye